Hey guys, it's Tiffy. Welcome back to the channel. So today I decided to do something a little different. We are going to be doing a get ready with me slash hangout and chill updates. Let's talk and just put makeup on. <laughs> I'm getting ready for a wedding right now. I have, oh shoot, an hour. <laughs> I have an hour until, um, shoot. Yeah, um, I meant to start getting ready an hour ago, but I just got out of the shower and I have an hour to get ready until um, my friend and her husband comes over. We are going to go to our friend's wedding. It's been a while since I've been to a wedding, so right now I'm priming my face with Yves Saint Laurent. This is, I don't even know what this is called, but um, I really like it and I've used a lot of it. It has this really pretty glitter in it. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to prime up my face. I haven't put, I haven't put a lot of makeup on in a long time. I've just been trying to focus on having like really nice natural skin without having to wear a bunch of concealer. So I don't think I've wore concealer for maybe like two months. Have you guys noticed? Uh, but I do feel like my skin has gotten a lot better, um, and I actually like the way my skin looks now, so, um, but since it's a special event, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna wear some concealer and go all out today. So I'm gonna change it up today and start with my eyebrows while this is, like, setting. So I've always used Anastasia, her dip brow, um, with the MAC, I don't even know, two this is an angled brush um, but this is what I always use for my eyebrows but normally I put the concealer on first but we'll see how this goes um, so yeah I hope you guys are having a good day I am so excited because um, I haven't told anybody this other than like my relatives it's not like out there um, but I just started school. <laughs> I'm going back to school and um, I am taking two courses this semester and I am studying fashion design. So I am so excited for this. Um, when I was going through art school, fashion design was something that was on my radar. Um, but then everyone would say, you know, oh my gosh, it's so competitive, it's so hard. And so I kind of just like stirred away from it. Um, but I've always been into just fashion and shopping and costumes. Um, my mom growing up, she would always make our Halloween costumes. Like Halloween's my, still today is my favorite holiday. Um, and I don't even know what I'm going to be this year. It's... <laughs> It's coming up quick. Um, so, yeah, she used to like sew us these really amazing costumes, and I started to learn how to sew because uh, I was just always around it. And actually, my mom studied fashion design in school too, but she never got to finish because she had kids. So, um, she was actually considering going to some classes with me. And, um,. I want her to. I think that'd be so crazy going to school with my mom for fashion design. That'd be so sweet. But yeah, like I, it was kind of just like a last minute thing. And I registered the week before school started and was just like, you know what? I've been getting the itch to go back to school and learn something now that I have free time. Um, cause some of you guys know I have another channel, it's a gaming channel, um, called Aya's Cupquake, and I was doing like two videos a day on that channel, and it was just me and my husband, and it was crazy, it was insane, I didn't have a life, like, I only, I would work like 17 hour days, that was all that I did, was just record, edit, upload, record, edit, upload. Same with my husband, like, we would go out on the weekend sometimes, but we wouldn't really have a weekend. We wouldn't really have nights to ourselves. Like, we would just be working, especially because we were working out of our house. 
we didn't have a separation so um it was just so easy just to work and we wanted to you know it's fun it was fun but it got to a point where it was just like so much you know so um we realized like oh man something's got to give here like we're not going to be able to do this forever so uh we hired our family we hired um my brother who helps with like emails and um brand deals because we we don't want a network dealing with all that stuff i don't know it's like we'd rather not handicap ourselves you know like we'd rather just like build a business and a company so we don't rely on a network um to do all that stuff for us so that was like our whole thing um and so we hired my brother we hired um both of Mario's brothers, one does editing for us and one helps with the website, our websites, we have multiple, and um, then we hired my mom who helps like assist me creatively and like is in second pair of hands for me, um, and she also does like customer service, and um, two of our friends, and we have an illustrator now, and we have another on camera host and an editor for our toy channel so like and that all like we've had our office for two and a half years already it goes by so fast like I cannot believe how qu you hear it all the time like you hear you hear it all the time that like life just flies by and it really does so, okay, oh, I am using Kat Von D's Locket Foundation. I'm just going to put some foundation on, and then I'm going to go in and touch up these eyebrows again. Um, but it's no joke. Like, it really does go by so quickly, and it'll pass you by before you know it. So, two years have passed. Where is my thing? I can't find my brush, so we're just going to use our fingers. So, yeah, it really does fly um but now that we've had this you know company like even learning how to operate everything and to manage people and to like make sure everyone has work and to like be on top of all that it's like it's a whole nother thing that I didn't even I feel like I didn't even I didn't even know that that was gonna be a thing you know I just we just needed help we knew that we needed help and um that's just that's just what came along with it um but now that things are like running smoothly it's like i feel like the company was an infant it was a baby and we had to baby it like a like a legit child <laughs> so i'm glad we don't have kids um but now it's starting to be able to walk on its own so i don't need to you know baby it 100 percent of the way and you know Red and I, Mario and I, my husband, um, we got our nights back, we have free time now, we have our weekends, and we, we can work on different things. Okay, I think I'm fully covered, but I'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender and just blend it in. Um, but yeah, um, things are starting to, you know, get better. And so I've been really wanting to go to school and like further my education and just learn. I felt like I was in a rut. I felt like I was just, you know, even though like doing YouTube and owning a business is, it's like, it's our passion. We would not change it for the world. It really takes a toll on you mentally. And I just really wanted to learn again. I just felt like I was stuck and unhappy at one point. Um, so I thought I just need to go do something that's, that's different, you know, something that has structure, something that, you know, I ha I'm going to like go and learn and go to a class and actually physically be there. Um, so I signed up for school and I finally, I'm finally, um, able to do that. And oh my gosh, it felt, I haven't been to school. I graduated college five years ago. Um, so I haven't been to school in a while and going on campus was so surreal. I was just like, I never thought I would be back here again. 
you know, I graduated, I have like a, a business, a good, you know, job. Um, like I never thought I would be going back to school, but now I'm like so excited because I really, I really just want to learn and I want to apply everything that I learn. Um, and just express myself through clothes and that is something that I never really thought of doing you know I mean I did but I never thought that I would actually be able to do it um so I'm I'm so excited about it I've been designing and drawing and designing clothing and I don't know what I'm doing I'm just kind of like sketching stuff out we've gone you know We've gone and sourced fabrics. We've gone downtown and we, we've got, started making some patterns. And um, yeah, so um, I guess I can just let you guys know here, maybe I can ask for your advice because, all right, I've always felt like the reason why I created this channel, Tiffy Quake, was because I felt like I has Cupquake, that was the original channel, my first channel, it was me, you know? But then a lot of younger people started watching me. And then I felt really bad if I would cuss or play a game that's like not for kids. But I never really anticipated that to happen. I didn't mean for it to happen. I didn't mean to be kid friendly or attract kids. And I still am not. I don't claim to be kid friendly. I get parents coming up to me, you know, thanking me for making content that their kids can watch. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I mean, what am I gonna say? You know, I say, yeah, like, cool, yeah, thanks. But I never wanted that. And I never like tried to be, and I never claimed to be. So I felt like, I don't censor myself fully on the channel. I still cuss here and there, and then I'll get comments of people, you know, getting angry. And I'll cuss here, same same thing, I'll get comments because, you know, audiences translate over. But, um, I gotta like really step up my makeup. I gotta start going quicker. Okay, I'm putting some primer on my eyes right now so my eyeshadow can stick on there. And last all night, because I'm gonna be dancing Okay, next I'm going to put some Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is by NARS, um, but I have a little bit of bags under my eyes. And let's blend it out. So yeah, I felt like I felt like I was just restricted with that channel because it was a gaming channel, you know? And I saw other people have multiple channels that... Um, you know, we're just like one theme per channel. And I felt like if I posted any of this like beauty or just like videos like this on the channel that people would get angry with me. And so I thought like the best, the best idea was just to create a new channel, you know, um, where I can just be myself and just do whatever I want. Um, so that's the reason why I created another channel. But I've always had like this, this inner struggle where it's like, why can't I post whatever I want on the IS Cupquake channel? You know, it's, it's me. I should be able to post anything. And then I'm like, well, what am I going to do with this channel? I can't just like abandon it. I love having it and I love being able to do just whatever I want. I love the fact that it's a smaller audience who appreciates me being real and you know, just being myself. So, I mean, I'm myself. It's like such a weird thing. I'm myself on the Eyes Cupquake channel, but um, it's just gaming. It's just one side of me. So yeah, there's always just been this like struggle of a struggle of like these two people who are me. <laughs> um, so back to advice from you guys. I've been wanting to create, you know, this clothing line and I don't know if I should make IS Cupquake into that and I don't know if I should call it Tiffy Quake and I don't know if I should just make a completely new thing where my name isn't tied to it. Um, 
So what do you guys, what do you guys think? If you were in my situation, what would you call it? What would you, what would it be under? Would it be, would it be this company that you've already established and you would just transform it into whatever you want? Would it be this channel, an Instagram account that you've already developed as you is your identity and then you'd probably lose it again and it would turn into something else? Or would it be this whole completely brand new thing and that's what it's meant to be? I feel like, like for me personally, I want it to be that option where it's something, you know, completely new and completely just me. Um, no like censorship. Um, it definitely wouldn't be kid friendly, I guess, for the garments that I'm cre wanting to create. Um, the age range would be, you know, 18 and up, um, so, and I don't want to censor myself there, so, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's, like, something that I really, now that, like, things are finally just settling and I'm feeling more like myself again, that's something I really want to work on with you guys is building a relationship and, like, really reading through the comments and replying and... That, that was one thing that I really loved about YouTube and making videos, but like as the years went on, I just got so busy and I just, you know, went into like company mode and autopilot mode that I, I had to, you know, I had to create videos on time or else someone would, wouldn't have work and they wouldn't be able to get paid. And it's like this whole other set of responsibilities that now I feel like I'm gaining more control over it and I'm able to just have time to do what I want to do and that's something I want to do is I just really want to like work on this relationship and really like ask you guys for advice and it goes both ways you know like I really just want to have that connection with you guys so I'm really excited for everything I don't want to get all teary-eyed but I'm gonna put on some eyeliner uh, or eyeshadow and um, this is my favorite eyeshadow um this is urban decay and it is a liquid eyeshadow but it has like really pretty specks of glitter in it in it this one is called solstice and it has like a really beautiful warm tone so um let me show you guys my dress and the color okay here it is it is a gorgeous velvet blue it's a deep blue velvet dress and it is so amazing this is my favorite dress i can't wait to show you guys it on but i was thinking of wearing like silver sparkly accessories with it because it's pretty plain um it's a short dress with a slit in the back um but yeah here's the dress so i'm definitely since it's so simple gonna have to like really like step up the makeup um and I'm really excited uh, because so I've been working I've been working with the trainer a personal trainer two days out of the week um, and been lifting weights and um, losing weight and I finally fit into a size six dress like I don't remember the last time I fit into a size six dress it's a small so I am so so excited even though I have to I had to take my bra off to zip it up I don't care I fit in a size 6 now so I'm so excited about that and I feel like I feel like that has a lot to do like you know with doing I would do like lookbook videos and stuff and um, like fashion and everything I've always been into it and I've always loved lookbooks and creating different looks um, but I've always been pretty self-conscious about my body and even, even in high school, even in high school, I was always in sports, but I would eat like crap. Um, and I was always just, I didn't love myself, you know, um, and I would always have these thoughts of like, if I looked a certain way, if I was just a little bit thinner, if I, you know, lost a little bit of weight, I, 
I would have more friends or I would have this or I would have that. And it was just so unhealthy. And I finally feel like I'm at a point now where I love myself. And I feel like that's really helped too with just everything in general. You know, I feel good about myself. And I'm not embarrassed to wear certain things and be who I am. So I'm feeling really great. And not I'm not saying that, you know, people should work out and live a certain lifestyle or whatever, but that's what worked for me. And I feel just so much happier and so much healthier now than I did even last year. Um, so yeah, I'm so, I'm just so excited. Finally seeing progress and all the hard work that I've put in is finally paying off. And I've tried everything, you know, like growing up, I have, I'm gonna share this with you guys a little bit later down the line, but I have a book that I've kept since 2010 that has images. It's like a weight loss kind of book where I'd keep uh, track of how much weight I lost and how much I weighed and like took pictures and measurements and did everything um, for the past seven years. And I'm planning on sharing this with you guys. Um, it is, <sighs> I love that I've had this book because having pictures and seeing the actual progress my gosh, like everybody needs to do that. I think it's such a good motivator. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this. <laughs> I seriously love this color, uh, but let's just see if I can put a little bit of it on because it's pretty bright and I might just try to put it underneath my eyes too. Um, but yeah, no, I, um, I want to share that with you guys just like to try to just you know inspire you guys and show you just the progress that I've gone through um, but if you guys are trying to lose weight or you know just be healthier I wouldn't recommend losing weight it should just be about being healthier and happier if you guys are on that path um, take pictures, take measurements. It's seriously the best motivation. Um, cause you can't really tell from a scale, you know, scale doesn't really tell you much. All right. I'm going to put this underneath right here. I'm just going to put it like all the way. We're going all the way today. This is a pretty color. I just found in my makeup thing. It's urban decay called glitter rock so let's see how this looks if we add it on top I'm kind of just I don't know going oh that's pretty well, that's super glittery okay I am gonna put on some eyeliner and then my lashes and let the camera cool down for a bit Next time you see me, I'll have that done. Voila! Got the lashes on. So now I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer. Put a little bronzer because I just need a little more definition. Um, and I'm already, I love this one. This is MAC bronzing powder called Refined Gold. I'm already like hitting tin. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Perfect. And then we're going to put a little bit underneath our jawbone right here. But yeah, I've just been so happy with the whole trainer. It just keeps me, you know, he just, not that it's not hard work. It's hard work. I work my butt off, um, but he just keeps me accountable, you know, um, and I would never leave someone hanging. That's my whole thing is I just needed to go meet somebody somewhere else 
because if I'm working out at home, I can't like, I just need someone else to be waiting for me. So now I'm going to put on this Too Faced, um, it's called Love Light, Blinded by the Light. So it's a little highlighter and this is one of my favorite ones. I think I'm going to put it, I'll put it on my cheeks right here and then I'm going to put it right by my eyebrow right up here too. So just grabbing a little blending brush and then we're just going to put it right down here because it just looks so pretty. I love highlighter. So I'll set it down right here. And it really like glistens magically. Just gives you that pretty definition in your cheeks. So I think I am going to put it up here just a little bit because I really do like this. We'll blend my shadow too. Okay, so now I'm going to contour and I got this brush as a gift from my neighbor. Um, so I think this, I don't even know how to use this. So I'm gonna attempt to use it. Um, let's see, the contour is this one right here. So this is, um, this is Smashbox. I don't really use this too often, but um, Let's try to contour. It says under the cheeks, the jawline, and sides of nose. So let me just load up this little buddy right here. Ooh. And then let's do the sides of my nose. So right here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to blend this. I'm gonna have to blend this big time. And then let's let's try the highlight. So let's try the, the highlight from this one on the nose so whoa I normally don't use this but that is light I think I can highlight up here too whoa <laughs> this is stuff that I normally don't do but All right, and then I'm just gonna blend it. We're gonna blend it out up here. Okay, so next is a little blush. And I have this one. I think this will be cool. This is what I got. It's Sephora and Pantone, um, which is crazy, Pantone. But there's these really pretty colors. So I think I might just go for this kind of like blushy color. And put a little bit right under here to get some warmer tones on my face and then one of my favorite things lipstick what am I gonna do today so I think I'm gonna go with a darker lip um, I just got a bunch of Jeffree Star lipsticks one of you guys recommended them to me and I absolutely love them. Though I don't really like, you know, his cattiness, I love the lipstick. So, um, product speaks for itself. Um, but, yeah, this one's called Androgyny. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. I've already put some moisturizer on my lips um, and I've been sit letting it sit there. So I'm gonna like take it off and then put on this amazing color. And I love wearing these ones because they really do last the whole night. If you're like drinking and eating, um, it really does last. So let's do it. There it is such a pretty color and if you hear a shower in the background that is my husband getting ready so we are getting close so I, I think I like I think I like the makeup I think I'm I think I'm ready so next I'm just going to set my makeup and I'm gonna use Urban Decay's makeup setting spray 
And we're just going to spray this all over our face. Because I'm going to be dancing and this needs to last all night. Okay, so once I have this on, I'm just going to set the everything with um, powder. So let me just go ahead and put that all over my face because I don't want to be shiny. And I will be because I want to be dancing. I'm going to be drinking. And I still got to look on fleek. So let's just put this all over our face. And then I think what I'm going to do after is I'm going to re-put some of my, um, my highlighter. I'm going to put this in my ears. I have shiny ears. Does anybody else have that problem? And I think I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter on my lip too. I want a little shine. One more spray for good measure. Okay, makeup's all done. I'm gonna go do my hair. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. I think I might like, I don't wanna curl it, but I wanna have a little more volume right here. Um, so I'm gonna go do that and I will be done with my hair and then we'll get in our dress and put on our jewelry. Okay, hair is done. I just give myself some volume and curled it a little bit on the inside, teased it a bit, uh, but we are getting down to the wire, so I'm going to put my dress on. I'm going to put some accessories on. Um, I have this beautiful choker I think is so gorgeous. I've just been all about chokers lately. Okay, all right, so let's get this choker on, and then I'm going to put my earrings on and then we'll get the dress on and then we'll be done. I'm getting hot. <laughs> and then I have these really, really pretty earrings. They look like little starbursts. I think they're so gorgeous. So I wanted something that dangles. Um, so yeah, let's get these, let's get these on and then we'll put the dress on. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh. I haven't put these on yet and I love them so classy I think that'll be the look the name of this look from trashy to classy <laughs> even though I wasn't really trashy before okay gonna put the dress on see you guys in a bit okay I am completely ready shoes on everything ready to go here is my dress and my shoes are so cute. I'll give you guys a full look, but just look how beautiful the freaking, I love this fabric. And then I decided to put a little brooch right down here. Cause it has stars on it. It's like dreamy. So here is the dress. Da, da, da. I seriously love the cut of this dress. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video getting ready with me. Um, we're going to head out and yeah, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.